The relative gain function in the application allows you to actually make gain adjustments from your transmitter in flight. In fact, not only does it allow you to make gain adjustments, but it also allows you to make independent gain adjustments for each flight mode. Let me show you how it works. The first thing that you need to understand is that this works only with uh, a series of the latest generation Spectrum radios. Those radios include the DX6, the DX9, the DX18, the DX10T, and of course, like I said, the DX18, but any versions of the 18, and then the soon to be released DX18T. So in order to get the relative function uh, working appropriately in your transmitter, you need to download the latest um, software or the latest firmware update from our Community Spectrum RC website. Once you have that downloaded, here's what you need to do. I have a DX9 here, and go to the telemetry function, go to any of the open telemetry, empty telemetry screens, access AS3X, and you'll see that that takes you to um, the screen that activates. Of course, display is automatically um, defaulted to active, uh, the status warnings and so on, you won't worry about that for now. Um, and then if you'll go back to the function list, you'll notice that you now have a new function that's called AS3X gains. Let's go ahead and open that and I'll show you what those gains do. So this is the default settings. And the first thing that you need to do is go to the bottom left and it's defaulted to gear. Now, um, what this function does where it says channel is that's actually the channel that we selected earlier that's going to be used to change flight modes and also to change the gains. If you'll remember in a previous um, flight mode setup screen, we actually selected auxiliary one. So I'm going to go here and select auxiliary one. And what you'll need to do is match whatever you have selected in your, um, in your screen, in your application, match that. It'll either be gear, auxiliary one, auxiliary two, or auxiliary three. The next thing that you want to do is select the flight mode switch in the transmitter. So FM switch, you, you can place it anywhere. In my case, I'm going to put it on switch D. I've selected that. Then your input, what the input is, is it's the switch that you're going to use or the trimmer that you're going to use and actually to increase or decrease the gains. So the input, I'm going to select, I can select the left trimmer, which is up here, or the right trimmer, which is on this side. In my case, I'm going to select the left trim. And you'll notice um, now that's all the selections. Now what you'll see, the other functions that you'll see, so when I move the trimmer on the top left, it says flight mode, and that's flight mode one, two, and three. And then the other functions that you'll notice in here, on the left-hand side it says axis. I have the roll, pitch, and yaw axis. Then I have the right gains. I have the heading gains. And then I have actual for each of those. So if you'll remember in some of the previous um, setup screens, we have flight mode one set up for zero gain. And so you'll see that I have zero across the boards. Flight mode two, I had various gains, but I didn't have any heading gain. And you'll see that those appear there, as well as rate and actual. And then flight mode three, if you'll remember, I had heading gain and I had a higher rate gain. So all those gains will show up there. That's actually being transmitted um, from the receiver through the telemetry to the transmitter. And by the way, on the right-hand side, it says actual gain. Um, if you'll recall, in one of the previous setups during in the gain setup, we talked about priority. In the actual, this is actually going to show you the, the true real-time gain for the heading and rate. And if you remember, we had priority. So as I displace the stick, you'll see I displace the ailerons or the rule, and you see I have 100% priority. So as I hit the endpoints, the gain actually goes to zero. And it's the same thing for elevator and the same thing for rudder. That shows me that my priority is working. So in order to make those gain adjustments, you'll notice that I have the left trimmer is actually my active switch. So you'll see right now I'm in um, flight mode three. So in flight mode three, the gain that I have is 70 and I can increase that or decrease it. And I'm doing that. But hey, you'll notice that nothing's changing. The reason's nothing changing because I've left everything in absolute in the, in the application. So in order to make it variable so that I can actually change it from that switch, from this screen, I need to go into the, in fact, I'll, in this case, I'll go into yaw, or I'll go into roll, and I'll touch flight mode three, and I'll bring up the flight mode three screen, and you'll see I have absolute for rate gain and absolute for heading gain. That's why I'm not seeing any changes when I make that trim. I'm going to change that to relative, 
change it to relative. Okay. I'm going to exit that screen. Okay. It's writing, writing to memory. And now you'll notice that when I make changes in flight mode three, those gain settings, if you'll take a close look, you'll see that roll, that's actually zero. And as I increase this, I'm actually increasing the roll for flight mode three. Now I can set that up for any of my flight modes. I can set it up for all of my flight modes. So I can have absolute for some things. I could have heading hold absolute, but uh, rate mode, relative, and so on. So this gives a lot of options. Now one of the really handy options that this allows you to do, and this is one of the things that we do when we're first setting up a model for the very first time. That a model, especially if we're unaware, you know, not real sure where the gain settings are going to be. What we do is in flight mode one, we set that up for aileron and aileron only. So relative is active um, in flight mode one. And then in flight mode, two, and, and by the way, the other two axes, the yaw and the elevator, or the or yaw and pitch, or the elevator and rudder, the flight mode is, or the, I'm sorry, the gain is absolute and it's generally turned off or close to zero. Then in flight mode two, we have the pitch set to relative. And in flight mode three, we have the yaw set to relative. So what we do in a single flight, you take off, you um, switch to flight mode one, and you increase your gain with that trimmer until the airplane just starts to oscillate at full throttle. Then you back it down a little bit. That's the point, uh, you know, that's the optimum point to set your gain at the highest possible position. You'll get the most stability, but you'll avoid the oscillation. Then flip to flight mode two. That's your elevator setting. And I'll increase or decrease that value until it starts to oscillate in pitch. Then I'll flip to flight mode three. That's my yaw. I'll increase or decrease that setting um, in flight mode three until the airplane starts to oscillate in yaw. Then I'll back it down a little bit. Then I can land. And then I can go back to this, this screen and I can flip to each one of those flight modes. And then my actual values that I have there will be my values in um, flight mode one. The actual value for roll will show up and that's what I need to program as my absolute value. Flight mode two will be my pitch and flight mode three will be my yaw. That's a really handy use for this relative setting. Then I can go back in and set in all those values up to my um, to absolute, or if I choose to, I can still you know, leave the relative um, on, and so I can make minor adjustments for all three or however I choose to do it. In any case, that absolute and relative function has a lot of neat functions and features that it allows you to program so that you can make adjustments to your aircraft in flight for the gains, or m equally importantly, you can make adjustments to the specific things that you want. If you want to learn more how heading hold works, for example, set your heading hold to um, relative, have your regular gain set to your rate gain, set to absolute, and then you can play with just the heading hold in flight. And you can get a feeling, you know, if you put it on rudder, you can fly knife edge, and you can get it to the point where it'll fly hands off knife edge. Um, you know, you can try various things and hover and so on. It makes it uh, very interesting, um, and uh, it's a really powerful tool. It's a real good idea to fully understand how this works and it will help you in setting up your airplane.